Hi, this is Shaheen from Vera Content, and today I'm going to show you how to do a word count on a document uh, for translation or for any other um, type of assignment. Um, so, well, mainly for translations. <laughs> but uh, here we are at looking at a document that needs to be translated. As you can see in uh, Word, it says here at the bottom that it's 332 words. However, that isn't the word count that we should use for the purpose of quoting the client or um, for paying the freelancer who might be working on this. So what we need to do is go into any project and upload the file into MemSource. Um, if it's if it's a project, if you're just doing a quote and it's not um, and it's and it's not like for sure that we're going to be doing the translation. You can create a project that's just called like word count only, or you know name of the project like pending or something like that. And then if we don't end up doing the project, you can delete it, uh, or you can you can delete it and then re-upload it into the actual project. But um, in this case, it's pretty certain we're going to be doing it, and we do have a project for the project, so. In, in Memsource, so it's called, well first of all you need to log into Memsource, you need to use an admin uh, login, and we only have one right now which is the Vera admin account, so log into the Vera admin account, because you can only do this from that account, and there's lots of features that can only be done from the admin account. So um, we're going to say a new project, or not new project, new job, in, a new job inside of an existing project, um, and then choose a file, and the file is this. Oh great, can't find it. Where is it? Sometimes the search just doesn't want to find things. There it is. Okay, so since we don't know yet who will be doing this translation, we don't need to select the linguist. Um, and then that's it, we just say create. The important thing is that before you upload the document, you really need to have a translation memory attached to this because the translation memory has a direct impact on the results of the analysis. So the file is uploading, so we're going to just click on this and then say analyze. And you can give it a name if you want to identify it, like BioJRZ analysis. So there it is here. And you can say, well, as you can see, there's so when you do an analysis, it tells you how many repetitions, like how many times the same exact segment is repeated in the document, and then how many times it matches with the translation memory uh, based on percentage. And there's a like a formula that's applied that reduces the word count if there's a lot of repetitions or if there's, but not it doesn't reduce it word one for word by one word. It's like on a sliding scale. Um, so in this case you can see like there are no repetitions and there's no matches with the translation memory so it's not going to have any impact on the final word count but to see the final word count you should go to my net rate scheme and say apply net rate and as you can see it's still 332 words. Um, one annoying thing about Memsource is there's no way to like easily just share this with the translator so what I do is um, screenshot it with my Mac, so I just do that, and then I email them this to justify it, especially if there's like a lot of repetitions. Um, so they see like, okay, it, even though it looks like it's a 4,000 word document, it's actually only 2,500 because there's a lot of repetitions. Um, and I just attach that into an email or a chat with them. And yeah, you can also like download it, but it's like a horrible, it's just like a weird, it doesn't look like a official thing, it's just like a spreadsheet, so, yeah. <laughs>
Um, so I thought it looked the screenshot looks more trustable. Um, so yeah, that's it. So then just apply, I mean, depending on the client, if we have a special rate with them or whatever, which will be noted in um, Podio. So go into Podio, see if we have any special rate with the client. If not, quote them our usual um, tra standard translation rate on the Vera content rate list, and then uh, send them the quote, uh, just multiplying the word count by the rate per word. Uh, I think that's all you need to know right now. Uh, thanks for watching.